Hello, and welcome to the JWST Exposure Time Calculator. In this video, we present an overview of the capabilities and layout of the ETC. We begin on the Available Workbooks page, which is described in a separate video. To open a workbook, click on the Load button. This will open the workbook in a separate tab of your browser. Once inside the workbook, we see the top of the page contains the Edit and Expand dropdowns, as well as three boxes for the workbook ID, title, and description. The expand dropdown is discussed in a separate video. Below the ID and title are four tabs labeled Calculations, Scenes and Sources, Upload Spectra, and Caveats and Limitations. We are currently on the Calculations tab, where the majority of the user's time will be spent. The Scenes and Sources tab provides options for the user to create and modify scenes and sources to be used in calculations. The process of working with scenes and sources is described in a separate video. Note that a default scene and source are provided to get the user started. The Upload Spectra tab provides the capability for the user to upload their own spectra for use in calculations. This process is described in a separate video. The Caveats and Limitations tab provides information about the accuracy and performance of the ETC. We will now take a look at the Calculations tab in more detail using a different workbook. Each gray box in the Calculations tab is referred to as a pane. The pane in the top left is called the Calculations pane. This contains a list of the calculations in the workbook and provides additional information for each calculation, including the instrument mode, central wavelength, scene ID, total exposure time, signal-to-noise ratio, and calculation status. Calculation is created by selecting the mode from the instrument drop-downs above. Currently in the Calculations tab, we have three different calculations for near-spec IFU, near-cam imaging, and MIRI imaging. In the Calculation Status column, the green check mark next to the IFU calculation means the calculation completed successfully and there is no saturation. All the other panes are populated with information, images, and plots. In the Plots pane, you can see the flux, background, and signal to noise ratio plotted as a function of wavelength. For imaging observations, a single point will be shown at the central wavelength of the filter. Calculations that complete successfully also provide a downloadable TAR file in the Downloads tab in the Reports pane that contains useful products for offline analysis. Going back to the Calculations pane, the orange exclamation point in the second calculation indicates that saturation occurred. Saturated pixels can be identified in any of the four tabs of the Images pane. These pixel values are removed for the 2D SNR and detector images. In the saturation image, the pixels are marked in red if they fully saturate or gray if they saturate before the end of an integration ramp. In the Groups Before Saturation image, fully saturated pixels are colored black, and the partially saturated pixels have low values, indicating that they saturate in only a few groups. Additional information can be found on the Warnings tab in the Reports pane, which has turned red. Returning to the Calculations pane again, the red X for the third calculation indicates that a mistake was made when setting up the calculation. Note that no images or plots are present. In the Reports pane, the Errors tab is turned red and provides a message to help with troubleshooting. In this situation, the message indicates that the extraction aperture radius is larger than the inner radius of the background annulus. We can fix this error in the Calculations Editor pane in the top right where the calculation parameters are specified. The five tabs in this pane present options for defining sources and scenes, background position and date, filters, gradings, and pupils, subarrays, readout patterns, and exposure parameters, and extraction strategy. The last tab is where the user can see the aperture and background annulus radii. By decreasing the size of the aperture, and recalculating, the error is removed and the calculation completes successfully.
One last feature of the Calculations tab is the Notes section. Notes typed here are automatically saved. It may be useful for recording your thought process for certain decisions, either for yourself or other users you share the workbook with. This concludes the overview of the ETC. If you would like additional information on how to use the JWST ETC, see the links in the description for this video. Thank you.